You've tuned in to Hype Talk Radio. The voice of the Midwest. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is your host, Taj Longino of Hype Radio. What's going on out there? Hey, right now joining us is 106 in Parks, champion of Freestyle Battle. Getting ready to drop his new single, Streets Don't Lie, from the brand new album, The Go To Man, releasing in 2009 this year. Welcome, everybody. Big Jig. What's going on, Big Jig? Playing himself, man. Pleasure my mind, man. What's All right, going man, going out there for you. Man, everything, 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 man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just out on this road, man. Just, you know, putting it in. A lot of work. That's what it is, man. How you feel, man? How does it feel to be uh, in World Six and Park Champion? Man, you know, it, it felt good, man. You know, it felt good, man. You know, it was it, actually been a couple years ago, man. So, you know, it definitely felt good. You know what I mean? Um, It was a stepping stone to my career. But, you know, I'm on bigger and better stuff now, man. But shout out to B.C., MTB2. They showed me so much love, man, from Sucker Freestyle to Rap City in the Basement. I done, been, I done did it all since then. So, you know, it's, it's been a blessing, man. You was on uh, the Rap City in the Basement? Yeah, I got a chance to get on Rap City in the Basement in January, man. This this past January, not not well, not this year, last year, oh eight January. Oh, okay, so you was in there doing anything in the booth too, huh? Yeah, I got a chance to get I got a chance to get my shine on in there one time, man. You know that was a blessing. They actually had a, it was a, a BT cipher, so it was it was just it was more than um just actually me in the booth. It was me and like um uh, a couple of high artists in New York, uh, but one one guy by the name of Shot Stimuli who real hot right now in New York. Um, a couple of us was in there. Red Cafe, it was a couple of us in there. So, man, tell us about that new single, Your Streets on Lot. Oh, man, you know, well, first off, you know, I got I had, I had, got a single that was buzzing around. That, the actual video was out. It, it's supposed to be uh, airing on BET within a couple of weeks uh, called Flyers of Plane with um, co-star and Busy Bone from, from uh, Bone Thugs. And then uh, one of the lead girls was... Uh, her name was Rabbit on uh, Real Chance of Love. She actually in the video as well. Um, the video doing real good as far as on YouTube right now. Um, WorldStarHipHop.com right now. That's going to go down. That's coming out in a couple of weeks. Um, and it uh, it actually splits into the beginning of my single, second single, Streets on Lock. Man, Streets on Lock is crazy. The radio eating it up down south right now. Um, I, I, I got the remix coming as well with me, with, uh, with me, Young Dro from Grand Hustle, and Alpha Mega from Grand Hustle. Yeah, which is gonna be crazy. That's finna come as well. So, you know, Streets on Lock, man. If any, if 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 you know, if if you're into street records and people like Young Jeezy, you will love this record because that's kind of like the similarity of the record. But you know, I got my own flavor, my own swag. But at the same time, it kind of give you that feeling of, of of one of those type of records. It's definitely for the streets, man. It's definitely a banger. Um, you know, just just expressing that I got the streets on lock, man. You know, in order to make it in this industry, you got to get the streets behind you. So, so you, you got a new thing. You got the remix you said coming up with Young Dro and Alpha Mega. Yeah. Alpha Mega just dropped the single, and I listened to it. And it's and it's, a, and it's hot. So if you, I know if you got him on there, Young Dro. That's gonna be. Yeah, I'm actually I'm actually on uh, Alpha Mega's. Alpha Mega got a single, a remix single called Uh Huh, and it's me, Rick Ross, Ti, Alpha. Oh, so you making so you are you getting ready to are you in affiliated with the Grand House or are you just happen to get network with them to get the uh to get these songs done? Well actually man, you know I'm real cool with uh Grand Hustle. I'm cool with Young Drota. Me and Young Drota actually went on tour together. Uh, I'm cool with him, I'm cool with Tip, you know what I mean? I'm cool with Alpha Mega. Me and Alpha is really like tight, like that's my boy. You know what I mean? We holler on a on a daily basis just about you know what I'm saying? So you know, Grand Hustle is, is filling me real hard, and I'm definitely feeling them as well. Where you uh, where you been on tour at? Oh man, you name it. I'd have been there, man. I'd have been to. Um, let me see. I've been to Canada, Detroit, uh, San Diego, uh, L. A., Oakland, Minnesota. Uh, wow, Chicago, um, Ohio, numerous of times. Uh, man, Flint. I'm, I'm actually on my way back to Flint, Michigan, and Detroit, Michigan, in a like another month to uh do some shows down there as well. Man, I've been somewhere everywhere, man. So how did you get started, man? How long you been doing this thing, man? Yeah, I've been. I actually been doing it mm, for about nine years now, man. I actually started as a joke, man. Um, I actually started uh messing around with it uh because I used to live in um. Indiana, in Indianapolis, maybe for a year or two, and um, I 
had a couple buddies, because um, I'm actually, I was born in, in, um, in Hammond, Indiana, but I was raised like in Chicago because my pops was in Chicago, so that's where I was raised at. But then I, I actually moved and had, and had got a little spot in um, Indianapolis for a minute, and, and a lot of my homeboys, like from, from the Midwest, from like Gary and Chicago and stuff like that, they had moved to Indianapolis, so I actually got linked up with a couple of my homeboys, and we was messing around in the studio one day in Indianapolis, man, at this uh, at this studio in Indianapolis, and um, actually there was a girl studio. She was the engineer. I think her name was Pyro or something like that. Well, I got we got got to messing around in her studio, and um, you know we 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 laid the record, and when we laid the record, man, um, everybody was saying like like you know like yo man like this cat, they was calling me Jigger, Big Jigger then. They was like, yo, this cat, this this big jigger cat, that boy, he, you know what I'm saying, you, you need to take it serious. I'm like, man, I ain't studying that, you know. I, I'm just I'm just joking around playing. So I noticed that a couple of my partners who really was my homeboy before we had started this rap stuff was start, had started kind of getting, like, intimidated a little bit. Like, man, how come everybody keeps saying he the best? Woo, woo, woo. So I said, you know what, I am. Let me go on and try to drop a record on my own. So I went on and dropped the record. Uh, with a with a with a, a R&B girl named Janet. The record was called uh, "Let Me In." Man, everybody was loving the record. So when I seen the response that I was getting with the record, it was like, man, you know, what I'm saying like maybe I should take it serious. So I end up going to stay in Brooklyn for a little while, and uh, I stayed in Brooklyn and Brownsville for a little while. You know, I started doing shows, opening up for Jada, Nas, and stuff, Mob Deep, and. People was feeling me like, yo, who is this cat? Like this cat, like he, he, we know he ain't from New York because he don't sound like us. He sound like he got New York lyrics with a down south flavor. Like who is he? So people started saying, yo, this cat from Chicago, he's from the Midwest, sounding like that. So that was so. Then there was one call led to another call. Next thing you know, man, I ended up being on Freestyle Friday. Well, who's, are you assigned to, um, you know, to any any type any type of labels? Looking at any labels? Look. Well, I got you know, I definitely I got a. Man, I probably got like four or five uh, offers on the table right now as we speak, man. I'm actually messing around with Koch, man. Shout out to Koch. Uh, they they doing uh, distribution. They want to do distribution for my album it's called The Go To, man. So um, I'm still kind of like per se a free agent, you know what I'm saying? But I do got a bunch of situations on the table because you know God's blessed me to make major moves. So um, I'm definitely available. You know what I'm saying? As far as being still a free agent, though, to be able to make my own moves and stuff like that. But um, I am dealing with, you know, Koch trying to deal with me real heavy about distribution. So we might be going that route with the uh, with my with my first album called The Go-To Man coming out this year. If not, then I'm definitely, if, if I if I don't come out on Koch distribution this year, that means that I done signed to a big label. Sound like you know you're going saying? to Grand Hustle the way you where you uh you got out yeah, everything. Man, it's, it's, it's it's looking you know what it's looking real you know you know I I don't want to speak you know what I'm saying really speak on it because I do I do I do got detailed about it but you know I think on the professionalism it might not be real professionals knowing that I got other labels that's talking to me to actually put that all out there like that but you know it's, it's you know I like their movement that's all I'm gonna say I like their movement I like Grand Hustle movement I I really dig Ti. To the utmost, um, you know, young Joe, that's a good friend of mine. Alpha Mega, good friend of mine. So, you know, you know, don't just don't be shocked. You know what I mean? <laughs> don't be shocked. Yeah, because I know they over there pulling out a lot of big names. They're pulling a lot of a lot of artists towards them. Where they're trying to really, I know, I see what they've been doing over the last few years, signing BG. You know, I was, I was expecting Young Joe to have another album drop. I'm waiting on Alpha Mega's album. I actually like the way he, I like his flow, especially when he was on that Ti vs Tip album. Waiting on yeah. him. I see what they're doing. So they building over there. Yeah, they got hey, they got uh, they got my boy B O B over there. They got uh, A Ball M J G over there. Yeah, I, yeah, I forgot A Ball and then went over there too. I'm waiting on that. 